What's up? Hi. Welcome to Yellowstone. campsite the ranger just came up and handed us our form to fill out but she said everybody that's currently staying here has until 10 a.m. to leave so basically we're potentially waiting an hour and a half to get a spot and even then it's not guaranteed mm -hmm. but she did say people are leaving um so now it's just a waiting game so I think Kevin's gonna fill out this form pop in the back make some smoothies and then we're gonna hang and uh, keep our eyes peeled for some wildlife. This campsite gets a lot of wildlife. We're pretty excited. Smoothie while you wait? Oh, thanks. Smoothie while we wait. Hello, friends. Guess what? We got it. We got a site, and we were worried that we'd end up in the middle of the RV mess. Yeah, but the lady was like, I'm gonna put you guys in a really good site, and I mean, from the looks of it, it's a really good site. Yeah. We'll see. We'll find out tonight at sunset. So since we're gonna be in Yellowstone for the next few days, we have a crazy dog. <laughs> we gotta tire her out. Yeah, we, we gotta um, tr tr attempt to tire her out. I don't know if you saw her back there, <laughs> struggling on these rocks. We gotta tire her out for uh, the road trip that is Yellowstone. The Yellowstone River access point just outside the park was the perfect place for Penelope to release energy and entertain the whitewater raptors floating by. Once she was just slightly tired, we headed into the north end of the park and quickly spotted some of our old friends hanging out at Rustic Falls. Yep, the mountain goats. So, you know how we said there might be something at this campground? We're already getting our first glimpses here. And uh, I got Penelope here. I'm just trying to keep her eyes away from it, but. You can't turn her surfer off. But yeah. Her surfer's a strong one. And Melanie's getting some, uh, some pics of the wildlife. So I don't know if you can see them very well because they're just, they went into the sunlight. There's one here, one there, kind of. I can't see either. And this is how far away they are. I haven't approached them. They haven't approached me. Uh, they're pretty tame and they're, they come through this campsite, I'm pretty sure, every single day. So they're very used to me. 
There you go. Identical. <laughs> Same. Same. We have fire and we have the first schmallow of the evening. I like mine crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm, perfect. Also, we don't have skewers, so sticks it is. What is your Whoa. preferred method? Whoa, big pack. Hundreds, hundreds. <laughs> Put the marshmallow over the fire. Like Wait. so. Turn gently. See that? That's good stuff. But not Whoa. too much. Not too much. <laughs> it's quick. It takes approximately four tries. Where's my chocolate? <laughs> mm. Marshmallow goodness. You're making them. Curious. No, hush. Hush. What are you saying to them? I can't see them right now, but they're on this hill. There's only two. Good morning. It is 6.05 a.m. It's bright and sunshiny, dark morning. <laughs> um, we are headed to Lamar. Whoa. Oh my god, I thought I saw something. We're headed to Lamar Valley. We've already seen a few elk. We did <laughs> already see a few elk. They, they don't either. sleep. We're headed to Lamar Valley, and the ideal time to be there is for the wee hours of the morning. Uh, just after sunrise is when most of the animals are said to be out and about grazing. Um, we did that last year, and we saw a grizzly way off in the distance through like professional binoculars. So maybe we'll see that again. <laughs> We're just hoping to see some bison. Uh, oh, the grizzly. Sunrise, really... was, sunrise was cool yesterday. Yesterday? Oh yes, 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 it was. <laughs> we were also up for sunrise yesterday. <laughs> it's been a long day long 24 hours 48 hours I'll catch back up with you when I'm semi awake I woke up at least five minutes ago Nelly what do you think about these massive creatures pretty large huh <laughs> what if I'm startled here Uh, just another morning in Yellowstone. Got my uh, smoothie here. The pupper. And off in the distance, there's some bison. And then there's some wolves back over there. Looking for wolves. They're out there. Oh, Way out there. <laughs> yeah, I see them. yeah, we can't really see them. Maybe in post we can zoom in and there'll be more than a just a black quick. speck. Yeah. I think it guide me. I'll try again. Did I wake you up? <laughs> Sorry. Good morning. Good morning. What? What's going on? Do you want me to take it? My hands might shake a little because I'm freezing. Here we have a Yellowstone traffic jam. Bison. Oh wait. Oh my god. That truck is going for it. Oh lord. She decided to wake up. <laughs> Sniffer got to her. So here we have 
two little bison looking at a bunch of bison. <laughs> so if you didn't know by now, Yellowstone is like a self-drive safari. You're just constantly searching for the next animal. Some of them are pretty easy, like the bison or the elk, but the wolves, the bears, the moose, for some reason for us, um, they're kind of hard to find. But we did we find how many wolves? Seven wolves this morning. Seven wolves. Um, they were off in the distance. We had to use the zoom to really, you know, see them. So the footage, we don't really have any footage, but. We'll, we'll zoom in on a photo maybe and yeah. you'll get one heck of a blurry picture, but it's there. Yeah. We saw seven of them and we used a guy's scope yep. to look at them even Use the guy's scope. You could see the full wolves. Uh, they were gray wolves um, and they're pretty big pack. They said how many? Yeah, so the pack that we saw again was only like seven or eight, but the whole pack is about 36 now that they've had all their pups. And one of the guys said, that's like one of the biggest packs since the Druid pack, whenever the heck that was. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and they don't usually stay in packs that large, so they'll probably split up into three. Wild, so we're still out here. We're trying to find pronghorn, no guarantees, but. Well, and bears. <laughs> um, we did this morning, Evan saw a fox this morning and I saw a coyote. Oh yeah. So we did see a couple more things that, Add them to the list. that aren't on the shots. We also saw birds and squirrels. <laughs> Hello again from Yellowstone. Here we are at another beautiful lookout. Having brunch. We had eggs on arugula. We opened the back doors. The sun is peeking out. Penelope's enjoying the sniffs. There's supposed to be wolves off in the distance down there. Pack of about 10. Uh, I personally haven't spotted them yet. But I haven't been trying too hard. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's still the same day. But uh, we're not frequenters of the 5.30 a.m. wake up calls. So we just had to pull over and take a nap. It was supposed to be a 30 nap. 30 minute nap. I think it turned into an hour. And now it's snowing, so. <laughs> okay, our windshield's not the cleanest in the world, nor is this the heaviest, heaviest snowstorm in the world. Uh, but it's definitely snowing or sleeting. Hey, hey, friend, what's up? What's your name? Oh boy. Well, He's really looking at us. Hi. Welcome to Yellowstone. Sniffing its butt. Big dogs. <laughs> no, that sounds exactly like you. <laughs> almost like you've been trained by them. Hour 72 of elk watching. Penelope's still crying. <laughs> um, Melanie's still seeing them. I'm still taking pictures <laughs> and videos. And I'm making food. So, we survived our first night of winter in 2020. Well, 
not ready. That's not true. <laughs> Our first night of winter in a long time. Mm -hmm. We um, skipped fall. We went summer, winter. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Although, stay here another two days and we'll be back to summer. Hopefully. It will. It's going to shoot back up to the 80s. I'm not sure how cold it got last night, but our leveling blocks accumulated some water and the water inside froze. Yeah, it was definitely below through freezing last night. Yes. And these mountains off in the distance are all snow capped now. Yeah, we were hoping to wake up to a winter wonderland, <laughs> but uh, none of the snow stuck. It did snow on us for mm -hmm. a while. Penelope had a blast sleeping underneath multiple blankets and it wasn't actually too cold of a night. No, no. I didn't have to sleep yet. with socks on. Wasn't bad yet, but the mornings are a little rougher. The morning was <laughs> crispy. <laughs> So now we're leaving camp. We're here for two nights. Um, beautiful. Highly recommend staying at the Mammoth Campground on the very north end of the park. If you like elk, that's the one. That is the one. This morning we woke up to 10 elk laying in a little patch of grass next to our campsite, just sunbathing and occasionally grabbing a bite to eat. <laughs> We've also decided that Penelope is part elk. Oh, for sure. Along with many other animals besides dog <laughs> and human. On our way out of Yellowstone, we stopped at a few of the iconic natural wonders on the west side of the park, including the Mammoth Hot Springs Terraces Loop and Roaring Mountain, which got its name in the early 1900s from the openings that emit gas and could be heard for several miles. Since leaving the Mammoth Campground, it has become clear that the winter wonderland has stuck on the northern, or the, our southern drive. Evidence. It's incredible. And I love it. And so does Susie. Yeah, Nellie's all over the, the snow shot shots. Oh god. Edit, <laughs> edit cut. Aaron wants me to tell you what's happening. Yeah, we've been in traffic. <laughs> we've been in traffic. Yellowstone, you should expect traffic because you see wildlife and you want to stop and look and there's not exactly a pullout. However, bison. one special thing about Yellowstone is that there are bison everywhere. It's really not hard to see them, but like you seem to come across cars that are seeing them for the first time and they just stop in the they middle of the road. stop in the middle of the road, back up the traffic for everyone. So we've been in this traffic for multiple miles and it's for this group of bison up here and we're still not even to it. <laughs> Unreal. You can't see them from here, but they're just right there. I understand Maybe it's if a it's cool... a bear, a wolf, I understand. Bison, they're everywhere here. <laughs> and in large groups most of the time. Um, it is a cool backdrop with that geyser though. Or hot cool spring. backdrop. But look at these people. These people are spring? walking up to them. They're petting them almost. <laughs> Unbelievable. So Penelope's just as excited, if not more no. excited, than we are about Yellowstone. She loves staring at the animals. And of course, we had to stop at Grand Prismatic Spring, which is the largest hot spring in the U.S. At 160 degrees Fahrenheit, it's definitely not the kind of hot spring you want to soak in. Evan says something's happening. We just got me over there. Holy cow. I'm, I'm soaked. It's I can't walk. I can't go walk into that I'm mud soaked. pit. It's 28 degrees. <laughs> it's not. It's 38 degrees. 38 degrees. <laughs> the this, shade's a little colder. This is all you know, messed <laughs> it's up. Spewing. Yeah. Nothing usually, out. usually. I cleaned up the dump station. There's shit everywhere. I mean, poop everywhere. Usually, this uh, goes a little more seamlessly. Yeah. The dog is crying because she wants lunch. Which doesn't get it's not part of her <laughs> meal schedule. You can keep driving, but tell me, how was how do your fingers feel? Uh, they were frozen. So Melanie gave me a uh, anti wipe. antibacterial wipe, wet wipe, and it felt dry. To me. <laughs> like I didn't know it was wet. 
<laughs> you couldn't even feel your fingers. We find this funny because it's the beginning of September and uh, there is snow covering all the trees, there's snow on the ground, we're freezing. They said Tetons got nailed with he heavy winds. Oh, is that what you said? Heavy snow. Yeah, they said it blew out the electrical, blew out all their uh, water stations. So we might have to, you know, that might have been our last chance to get water and yeah, dump. For a while. Because we're headed to the Tetons. It's, I'll check the weather, but it's supposed to get warm again. But the Tetons are a different land of mountains where the mountains dictate the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. That's really fun living in a van. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> The Tetons. The Tetons are just a short drive south of Yellowstone National Park and also has extraordinary wildlife roaming its land. But even knowing that, nothing prepared us for what came next. seeing her first grizzly bears. They're right there. Walking across this field. Looks like four cubs and a mama. Who? Who could have ever thought? get any pictures or did you freeze? No, I got so many pictures. Any vids or did you freeze? I got, I got like so many pictures. or video. Because <laughs> I tried the GoPro and they lure ants out there in the field. Oh shit, yeah. No, but I was... <sighs> Hopefully you saw them with your eyes. Oh, I saw them with my eyes. They were, they were pretty close. I was like from here to that RV. I know. Closer. Were you scared? Heart bump? No. no? <laughs> there are so many people around me and the rangers and whatever. Why didn't you walk this way? Or were there people you chatting when with When they people? started walking? Yeah. Um, I was just watching them with my eyes. I had already taken so many pictures from like uh, well, let me five see. yards away, if less. Let's see them. Come on, Nels. Let your mom in. I don't know why she's so emotional about this. <laughs> Hold on. So, motorcycles. You, you just crossed off what animal? Five grizzlies. One grizzly. That's a phenom. 24 years old. Grizzly number 399. 
24 years old and her four cubs. She has quadruplets. Insane. And I just saw her with my bare eyeballs. Like, like three yards away is what people were saying. I'm not very good with measurements, so I'm going to say three yards. A couple yards. vans. A couple vans away. Like, yeah. I'd say maybe three, four vans away. Yeah. Is that even three yards? I have no idea. No, three yards is way closer than three or four vans. <laughs> Then, no, dude, they were closer than the three or four vans. Oh, really? When they were, when I was like on the fence and they were in the bush. Yeah. That was closer than three or four vans, 100%. Damn. Um, yeah, and the people were like, all right. Well, one lady, she was in a rage and she's like, should we start backing away? I think we need to start backing away. Let's, <laughs> let's all back away. Let's all back away. Um, and some other lady was like super emotional for the people she was with. She was like, well, I obviously was emotional. She was like, I'm so happy you guys got to see her. Apparently, I mean, she crosses this road all the time. It's like her thing because that's like how, why they say she's lived for so long because she's figured out that if she stays near the road, then the male grizzlies won't come because they don't come up to the roads. And apparently the male grizzlies, I need to do more research on this, but the male grizzlies like- Kill the young. Kill the young, yeah. Mm. Um, Which is why like so many of her offspring have survived uh and her um so yeah so she's known to be like along this road and stuff but i mean bears travel far so we weren't sure like when we were going to see her if we were going to see her and we, we were looking in the wrong spot for a while for yeah for a hot second <laughs> um but also but also she a lot of times people don't see her like this close oh yeah well if we pass by right now she wouldn't be here well, yes, that too. <laughs> it, it happens so fast. Yeah. If she, like, for the past few days, we've been photographing buffalo and elk that literally sit in the same spot for hours. Yeah. Um. So this bear was an adjustment. I was like, ah, and I was trying to capture it with my own eyes. Yeah. Um. You did a great job. Oh my god. Crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, Nelly. I'm like sweating now. Nelly liked the bear, but it wasn't her favorite animal. I don't think. There was five of them. You think she could take them? No. They probably run faster than you. Mm, I don't know. Nelly definitely look more agile. Like, <laughs> um, everybody would like ooh and ah when one of the cubs would like get up on his leg. <laughs> 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 cool, cool. So what's what's next on the list? Moose. All right, so here we are in the Tetons, hanging next to the van, eating lunch got the camera pulled out and we're just watching cows horses and bears you can't see the bear through this camera obviously they're in this tree line where there's like a bunch of mulch or something whoa <laughs> oh. anyway and uh they're just rolling in it all five of them it's amazing this is the best wait you're the mama ever even the oh i mean i can't tell which one's which when they're rolling around <laughs> but they're definitely rolling on it. Get that thing out of my face. So, we're at camp. Not the camp we plan to stay at with incredible views. <laughs> but we'll try again tomorrow somewhere else. 399, however, guys. <sighs> Marketing it down as one of the best moments in my life. <laughs> it was so close to me. A guy, I met a guy who's been watching her for three weeks. I, tons of those people I'm sure have been watching for weeks, the ones that live in the area. But this particular guy, I talked to him for a while. He's been watching her for three weeks. And he said, the moment this morning when I saw her for the first time was like one of the best moments and closest moments that he's had with her. So, like I knew I was pretty freaking lucky when I got to saw her, see her <laughs> and where and how far, but that like solidified it that was insane and not to mention i mean like she's very popular it's everybody in the area has seen her and she's here every year but this year she has four four children what are they called again pups. Pups. i want to call them pups because we were talking about the wolves having pups <laughs> and we saw wolves Soon we're gonna try and find moose. I'm not sure that they'll have calves. I think that's what the babies are. Join us next week for more wildlife and mountain biking.